How does the time period of a pendulum depend on its length? The time period is the time taken for the pendulum to swing from its highest point to the other side and then back again. So swinging through the equilibrium position. And the, the easiest way to time that accurately is to time 20 oscillations using a stop clock or a stopwatch and then once you've timed 20 oscillations so to be one two three and so on divide by 20 to find an average oscillation time an average time period and what you'll find is that if you increase the length of the string if you increase the length of the pendulum then the time period will also increase so if you increase the length of a simple pendulum then the time period will also increase So, as one increases, so does the other. It's not a straightforward relationship. If you quadruple the length of the pendulum, you'll actually find that the time period will only double. And so that's the relationship between the length of a pendulum and its time period.